Okay. All right, so here we are near the uh, transmission lines. So we'll do a little bit of an exercise. So we've got the, uh, the Gauss meter here measuring five and a half milligauss. Here we've got the electric field meter. We'll power that up. If we form a little bit of a circle around the meters. Okay. All right, so if we raise this up, then of course we're getting lots of noise because we're picking up those electric fields. When I lower this dough, the electric field goes away. So where is the electric field now? In us. Yeah, in us, <laughs> right? It's on our heads. <laughs> All right, cool. So yeah, we're gonna go for a little walk. So somebody grab this meter. I know how it works. Two hundred, three hundred. All right, cool. So magnetic fields, we've got twenty-nine milligauss. All right, now if we take both meters to the tree. Down to 13. I wonder what I have three. Okay, so four, four tree. Yeah. But you know, if you had a property and you had something like this, or even local distribution lines nearby, if you planted some, you know, some quick growing trees like conifers or something, you know, you could put something like this mm. in the way to at least take the electric field burden and reduce that right down. All right, so if you look behind, you've got your, you know, your pylons there, but we've got cell phone transmitters on one of them as well. You see that a lot when you get this combination. Okay, now at the moment it's not for sale, but this property here <laughs> has been for sale so many times. Like, I mean, I used to oh, not joke about it, but it's like almost like when we were doing, you know, the regular workshops, you know, the four day workshops, every two months we come back. It's like one time the sign will be up. Next workshop, it'll be sold. After that, sign will be gone, right? And then one or two workshops later, sign's back up. Probably just never feel settled and we don't know why. Yeah. And I got their, their horses there and. All right, let's uh, let's get out of here.